Hi, welcome to Unity tutorial of cars driving in an urban area. Right, I have some buildings around, street light, the road and their markings, and you can even see just a couple right there, having a nice time. I have some benches out there for people to just have a look for. And uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start up the car, so let's click and let's see what's going to happen. There we go. So, I'm going to show you guys how I managed to put all of this together. It's actually all made up using assets. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm taking you guys straight into energy development environment. And you guys will see how I managed to put all of this together. So, let's do that now, guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to start a new project. Click on new. Let's make sure 3D is selected and let's give this project a name. I'm just going to call it, uh, let's say, Urban. So I'm going to just call it Urban Cars. There we go. Click on Create. There. Right. The system is ready, but make sure you have your standard asset on your system. If you don't have this standard asset, you can always download it okay there that must be on your system okay the next thing i like to do now is i'm going to go to windows and i'll select asset store and in here i'm going to look for this particular package called all skybox just for my skybox really all right in there i'm going to just type in because I know the name is All Sky, I think it's All Sky Free, it's not All Sky Box, something like that. Yep. I believe it's this. It should be free. Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to download that. Okay, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I'm done with that. Now, let's click on Import. There we go. Okay, the Skybox has finished um, importing, and I have it right here as well. So that is it right here, Skybox. But before I go any further, to be on the safe side, I want to save my project as Urban or Mini Urban. Mini Urban. There we go. Make sure that is saved just to be on the safe side. Now, the next thing I like to do is, okay, let's import another asset here. It's called Victoria Street Light. And from there, I'm just going to have to continue. There we go. That's this Victoria Street Light. So I'm going to get that important. Let's come right now. All right. Okay, we we'll click on import. There we go. Right, the Victoria Street Light is finished. Finally, before I proceed, I'm going to upload White City. White City is to do with the program, with buildings. So that is White City right there. So that's it. I'm, I'm now importing buildings into the program. And White City is free as well. Okay, click on import. Okay, guys, I've finished importing all of the resources that I need from the asset store. So I'm going to come straight to the scene. As you can see, there's nothing there. So the first thing I'm going to do, I know this might not be advisable, but I'm going to use terrain. So click on terrain. That's my terrain right there. I'm just going to zoom in. Okay, then. Um, Let's select the settings. You see these uh, terrain settings. I'm going to scroll, scroll right down here. You see where I have terrain length. I'm going to make that approximately 1600. So I think that's the only changes I'm going to carry out here. And the next thing is the next thing is I'm going to add. So let's go straight to the hierarchy. I would then add a cube. 
Okay, and this cube, I'm going to make it approximately, let's go for 160. That would be the width, and I'm going to make this uh, 1,600. So, for me to be able to see this very cube, I would then come in here, you see where I have the project. Click on the project, let's select folder. That very folder, I'm going to call it material because I'm going to need a lot of material in there. Then, make sure the folder folder called material is selected, right? I click on the create and let's select material itself. And that very material, I'm just going to change the color to black. Just type in black in there, that's the name. And come right there where we have albedo. Click on that and let's select black color. So that should take care of that. So I can then drag this very black color straight in here. So all I'm trying to do now is to take care of the road. So you see here, let me just come in here, change it to top. And let's go right in so that we can align everything the way we want. Right, so grab this with a move tool there and let's paste it right at the center and just drag it up. Okay, that is fine. All right, that will do. So we can now start work on the road. Let's add another cube there. And this my very cube is going to be right there. And let's change these to about six. And this will be let's go for maybe I'll go for maybe hundred here. And I'll just make this maybe uh, let's say point one. Yeah, but one other thing is we need to be able to see that particular cube. So that's road marking one. Okay, we should change the name to road marking number one. So we come right in here. Let's make it road marking one. There. I'm going to create another material so that I can change the road marking to white. Okay, so let's just change that to white. And right here, click white. We want it to be white. It's already white anyway. That's the default color. For the road marking number one, I'm going to drag my white color and just dump it in there. Okay, you might not be able to see it right now. Okay. Let's change the orientation of everything. And that's why road marking. We can then move it up a little bit. You can see that now. Okay, but this root marking, this very one, I'm going to copy another one, right click here and just make a duplicate right there. The duplicate is there. You see this very number one, or this very one, let's make that a long one. So that's going to be approximately 1,600 anyway. So that is for the middle bit. Why this one is just going to be for the Let's say the dual carriageway. So let's move this aside here. And let's move this straight to the middle. All the way. Because it's a dual carriageway. Yeah. All right. So we can just use this. This is where I want to divide the drive, uh, the driveway. That's one here. Okay right click and copy duplicate yeah so this is the main one okay so i'm going to change the name of this maybe add something i need to know the difference so I'm, maybe i should put a deed here so that'll be the divider yeah so i wouldn't have to mess around with that okay the next one this road marking so Create another duplicate, drag, and another one, and so on. Drag. Okay, the first set of road markings are completed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all of the markings that I have in here. Okay, and right click to create a duplicate there. Just move it across. There we go. All of the road markings are now in place. 
So let's see how it's going to look like. So bring that in. Yeah, you see that, guys? Yeah, that's fine. Now, one other thing I'd like to take care of first is let's go straight to window. And I presume you all have these, all of these uh, assets. Okay, apart from this one here, I just copied that from my previous tutorial. And this one, these are for buildings in here, it's for buildings as well. Okay, this is my material, standard asset which I expect you to have some lighting and this is lighting and a bench to sit on and here we have uh, just some buildings okay before i go any further all i want to do now is to go to windows and i'm going to now select okay rendering lighting click on that Okay, that is the sky box. So the sky that I'm looking for, I want you to look like is actually raining. So let's click on this very first one first. And yeah, all sky underscore space underscore another planet. Right, I think I've got it. So I just want you to look like it's raining. Now I'm running the program. I just would like to see how it looks like that is how it's looking right now okay i need to get this centered but before then you see how messy this this area is the hierarchy area okay i need to get all of this road marking straight into a folder so what i'm going to do is to create another empty game object this very game object i'm just going to call this road or game object road game object underscore road markings okay that's fine click drag every single road object and dump it right inside the object itself so we can collapse that and here we have the camera here I want to find a way to get, make sure this camera can focus on these terrain and road markings okay let's kind of like zoom in and bring our camera nearby where we can see it maybe drag it here let me take it up a little bit yeah okay that's not too bad we might still have to make carry out some amendment but first and first let's create another cube this cube is going to be for my side yeah sidewalk so for the sidewalk cube let's go in there and select another cube and this is going to be let's make it 70 let's say this is going to be about four if that's not too high yeah and this let's make that 100 right that's the sidewalk cube but we do have a problem because the color is white so let's come in straight to where i have my material select my material go right up here and let's create a new material and i'll change the color of that to uh, let's say brick or block there and right here inside the brick folder i have example of bricks that i can use okay here are the sample bricks though you might not be able to see it properly let's maybe move this up a little bit and come right here oh undo that click and let's go for two columns those are the bricks okay maybe i'll set it for number four there it's okay now let's go back in here we need the material first the white one no the block I will need brick number four. Grab brick number four and dump it right there inside the albedo. There we go. Now, now grab the material called block, drag it, and let's dump it right in here. Yeah, there, that is it. That is it. That's taken care of. Let's move it down here. Okay, so all I'll just have to do now is 
copy and paste okay let's create his own empty game object so we just call it blocks or bricks yeah bricks block whatever okay that's fine now let's move it in a little bit yeah Mm, yeah that's uh, yeah that's fine okay now drag this in there inside the game object now right click and create duplicate drag your duplicate across with a little bit of space in between okay guys those are all the side work breaks they are all in place now so I'm gonna select it all okay, just select everything and copy it there now right click and that will be select duplicate so duplicate is done so drag it and move it to the other side okay I think this one is a little bit in so let's drag it back it's tiny bit okay if I run it this is let's see how it's gonna look like for now all right that's not too bad that's good and you can see this car it kind of like look like it's going to be a raining day okay let's end it this one right here then the next thing i want to do now is let me get some buildings in there before we start adding trees okay let's collapse this that's one good thing about that yeah you see it's collapsed create another game object this game object is going to be maybe buildings right game object buildings okay just press enter now I'm gonna change this to one column and let's go in here we need the building apartment that's one of the resources I got from the asset store so thanks to the developer so click on the building apartment let's take it in a little bit and grab one of these building whoa that's huge dump it right then i'm going to change the size to maybe about seven nine seven nine seven something like that yeah okay that's the first building okay 797 that looks a little bit too big but let's see let's just copy one first control d and just copy it no it's not done yet control let's drag this so that we can see it oh five nine five let's see how that's gonna look like and we have a little bit of parking space there okay let's assume so five nine five nine five as the scale so we can then we can copy this so but i need some other type of building in there so let's say control d i'm just move this in here just to spice things up a little bit yeah and let's grab another one another kind of building okay i want every single building right in here all right grab another kind of building 13 and just dump it there and we can set to 4 6 10 5 so 6 10 5 that's a little bit of space in between and let's see how that's going to look like move it in a little bit one more yeah duplicate right let's see okay okay we should be able to see how that looks like now 
let's see. Okay, that's not too bad. Then. Right. Okay, that's fine. So what I'm going to do now is just to populate the buildings by the side of the road. Just like I'm actually doing here. So grab this and drag it, dump it right in here. Okay, select all of this, right click, copy, uh, create a duplicate and just move it across. There we go. I maybe just shift this right over there. I will also add some other, some more buildings anyway. All right. So let's populate it with more buildings and I'll get back to you guys. Maybe I'm going to have to do that using the white city, the white city asset that I copied from, from the asset store. So let's see, number 12. Yeah, grab that and just dump it somewhere here. That's just to make it, give it a, okay, let's make that about, no, three is too big. Okay, let's go for two for now. Or one point something, 1.7. And make this one. And there for now, let's see. Okay. I'll not be able to see it yet. So let's move it in. Let's see now. Okay. I may have to raise that up a little bit. Okay. And let's speed things up by adding more buildings anyway. Okay, guys. This is how it's looking right now. Let me run it so that you guys can have a better view of it. That is how the whole system looks like. So what I'm going to do now is just to add some cars. So let's end that and come right to our standard asset. In fact, almost everything we need is inside the standard asset right there. So I'm going to scroll down and look for vehicle right there. There's vehicles. And we want the car. Inside the car folder, there's a prefab there. Right. So I'm just going to click on one of those drag and I'm going to drop it right here. The car is right there. We can't see it properly. So let's increase the size of that. Maybe to about seven, eight, seven. Let's see. You just drag the car forward a little bit and see how that is looking up. Let's see. That's how it's looking right now. So if I run it, let's see. Yeah, that's the car right there. Okay, so I'm gonna copy more of those cars across. Okay, that's the first one. So I need an empty game object. So it's gonna be called game object cars. There. Yeah. Let's just click on this car. And where is game object cars? drag the car drop it inside the game object and right click duplicate okay we may have one here as well and select both right click duplicate drag it there okay let's run the game and just see how it looks like yeah that is fine Okay, you see the cars are moving, but they are a little bit very slow. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So, what I'm going to do now is, the ones to the right, I'm going to class those ones as, or the one to the left, I'm going to class those ones as the fast cars. Alright. Okay, just right here. I'm going to change that to... Yeah, 5200, and let's do the same thing for this. Look at this one. We may have to add a little bit of speed to them. And this one here, this little one. Okay. Let's say this one should be 52,000 plus. Yeah, good. 
What about this? 52? No. And this one. We can make this about 30 something. Right. So that will do it. So if I run the program now, just click on, press my arrow, the arrow key. This is what we should see. Okay, press the arrow key. Now you see that guys, the cars are moving. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. That's not bad. So let's try and find a way to put finishing touches to them. You see these cars? I'm going to go to my. Just come in here. You see the material. I'm going to add more material inside the material. Uh, undo that. I want material. Material. And let's say we have a yellow color here. Change this color to yellow. Right. That should do that. That will do it. So we can always dry the yellow color and just dump it right in here. And this one, let's see. Let's make that maybe blue material. Blue. Okay, and maybe make one of them red or something. Let's go for blue. Okay. And I'll just repeat the same thing for the rest of the cards I'll get, and get back to you guys. Okay, that's all done now. So if I run it, this is what you guys will see. Okay. That's not bad. Alright. I'm going to stop it right there. Then the next thing I want to do is and that let's add some trees all over the place or oh, you see this the okay let's come in here you see the directional lights we can just click on that and let's reduce the intensity a little bit so i'm going to make that to maybe zero point mm, let's say zero point seven and see Okay, I just want you to blend in with the sky that I have in there, the sky blocks. Yeah. Okay, now go back to. We need to select the terrain, and inside the terrain, let's click on these properties for the trees and come right in here. Edit tree add tree the trees that i'm going to be adding they are actually right inside the standard asset so let's look for trees i can see one here so double click on that i sh should be able to add that add that is the first tree maybe add another one add another and click in there let's see we can get something a little bit much better. Okay, grab this. Add. Click on add there. Now I'm going to let's see the size of my brush. It seems a little bit okay. That's not too bad. I've, I've been able to add that. All right. Let's see how that's gonna look like. Yeah. So add some more trees here. Okay, so I'm just going to speed that up by adding trees then to the interface and let's see how it's going to look like. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as I'm done with that. Okay guys, I've finished adding the trees, so I'm going to run it before we add the street line and some trees. That's how it's looking right now. But there's one other very important thing I would like to take care of. That would be to add my camera into one of the cars. Which camera, which car are we going to add that into? Okay, looks like I'm going to have to add my ca uh, my camera straight in the main camera straight into this yellow car in there. So I'm going to grab the main camera and just dump it right in there. Yeah, 
So let's run it and see how that's going to look like. Yeah. And there we go. Should be able to capture. Let's add a camera to to another. Let's move it from here. Um, what number is this one? That's number two. Just gonna drag it, dump it inside number two. And let's see. Okay, so if I run it now, let's see how it's gonna look like. We may have to. I'm gonna add one more camera. Let's stop it there. I'm gonna come right in. We have a camera. I'm gonna right click and let's make a duplicate. This might be against the rules, but that's what I intend to do. So come right here and grab that very camera and move it right inside the very first one here. Okay, that's a copy of the main camera inside that very car. So let's see the other car, this very one. I'm gonna create another duplicate. So I'm gonna drag this and place it right in here. There. Yeah. So the next thing I'm gonna do now is just add the. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's much. That's much better. Yeah, I think I like it this way. Okay, let's stop it. Stop and let's come right here. I now need to come straight to the street probes. And here, I think this is street light. Yeah. Yeah, I like this one. Grab that, drop it here. I'm gonna increase that to about maybe nine. By nine and nine, yeah. Okay, just copy that across. Hold on to the control. And where is it? That is it right there. Collapse this. Create another. Okay, that will be light. Call that street light. Yeah, that's fine. And grab that very street light and we just bring it right down. Okay, we have the street light inside the game object street light. Okay. Now let's right click, duplicate, drag. Right click again, duplicate, and drag. Okay, okay, guys. I've finished copying over the street light, and we have the others here. So I'm gonna run it so that you see how, how that looks like. There we go. Those are the street light. Let's try it out again. Yeah, that is nice. Okay, we stop it right there. We now need the bench right here go back to the street probes drop that down and we have some bench here let's see let's see this very no and that one this one that's that's not a bench and let's increase the size of that and see maybe five by seven and nine right that's not too bad let's see how that looks like Okay, it's a white one. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to copy that and speed that up so that we can put an end to this program. I think maybe we should increase that 5 to about 7. Yeah, maybe 8. Yeah, there's enough sitting room there. Okay, that's fine. So let's just copy that. Where is the... I think that's the bench right there. Right click, 
duplicate. Okay, move it. Yeah. Now we can move this one there a little bit. Okay, that's it. So I'm going to now speed that up. Let's copy it around. Okay, guys, I have all the chairs on both sides of the urban highway. So let's click and see how it all looks like. There we go, guys. Look at that. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, what I'm going to now do next is to get a couple, one male, one female, and just get them to see. I've already created that. But uh, creating that particular avatar, that's going to be another tutorial. So I'm just going to copy and just drag them into my into my asset here and drag them on board. Okay, I have these uh, avatars inside my download area. Those two, so I'm just going to copy them. Select both. Drag and drop there all right guys there they are try the very first one i think the very first one is the lady increase that five seven maybe seven okay she's sitting on all right we need to make it 90 degrees now i think that's the wrong side all right 180. Okay, let's get her to sit on the chair. Okay, she's looking a little bit comfortable now, but let me change that to six. Yeah, that's good. She look more like she's sitting on the bench. Right, that's fine. So I'm gonna grab the man and just do exactly the same thing to the man. Okay, so let's grab the man. Grab, drop, there. Okay, I'm gonna run it and see. And hopefully that'll be the end of the whole process. So click, run, and let's see. Guys, I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial, and I suppose you guys enjoy it. And please do subscribe, and uh, I will also be very happy if you guys can join and be a member of my channel. You all have a nice day now. Bye for now.